What's up? This is Chris Porter and you suck in photography. Today, um, just to give you a little backstory, a friend of mine was online. He really loves this particular actress, right here, Lisa Ray. And, you know, she, she's cool or whatever. But what I did for him was I went ahead and let me see if I can show you right quick what I did. And this is the after image and that's the before image the after image before image so anyway he posted it on Facebook and one of the other guys that loves the girl also saw the picture and wanted me to recreate something with him so that's what I'm in the middle of doing now recreating a few images with him and her in it so um, let's go ahead and jump on it and what I have here let me find the picture. Let's go ahead and open up a picture of him. All right, I downloaded this picture from his Facebook page. And good looking image. Another friend of mine shot it for him. So what I'm going to do is looking at these two images side by side. The first thing I notice is that this image over here is turned one way and this image is turned the other way. So let's go ahead and make an image turn. I always forget where things are. Image rotation, horizontal, just like that. And we drag this over here. Hopefully this won't take too long. Drag that over there. We open it up a little bit. Close that negative I do not want to now the reason I rotated it is because we wanted this image to be on the same plane or not the same plane we wanted it to turn the same way so now I push V to make sure I got some bars over here and if you don't have any bars on yours look up here it says show transform controls that's what that is so we're gonna make it a little bit I think it's a little bit bigger I think I may have let's go a little bit bigger because we want the heads right around the same size so it won't look funny it's pretty good right there alright and then I press enter or you can press this right here which it's gonna commit to the transform and I drag my navigation tools over here let's drag it back so I don't confuse you guys of course I drag the whole thing yours is over there and put this one over here okay so let's go ahead and grab this the quick selection tool and we'll make sure we're on the right layer and we're just selecting his head simple easy peasy and then I'm gonna click the mask button we're gonna mask him off like that Still a little red in there. We can take care of that a little bit later. And the only thing about it is chin is up a little bit high. Perspective is a little bit off, but for just the joke that they're doing, it's no big deal. Because if I was doing it in reality, I probably would just schedule a photo shoot with him. Make that a little bit bigger. So I want chin to head ratio pretty even. Click enter. And we'll move it over just a little bit. And I'm pushing the left arrow key to make it move over. His head's still a little bit big, so let's make it a little bit smaller. Arrow key up. Arrow key left. I like it. And zoom out a little bit so I can get these controls down at the bottom. I think I'm going to turn it just a little bit. So it looks like he's leaning towards her. And I think I like that. So let's go ahead and zoom in and do some work on the head. Okay, first thing I notice 
is that we have a little bit of the other person's head in here so we click the background control and let's click the stone the clamp tool stamp tool and I'm going to come in here and notice that I don't have to do anything special because even if I go behind him like that yeah it didn't work I have to be on this layer so I click all I can click that and it won't affect my subject it only affect it'll only affect the uh, other person so what I'm gonna do is take a black brush and I'm gonna select let's go ahead and put that on a new layer just in case we jack it up so control shift in new layer uh, painting and I'm gonna just go ahead and paint this select that black out and push the button a little bit off but overall still better than it looked before and let's add a little bit of white to it to right around this edge part now, of course this is not going to be perfect like in order for me to make it perfect I'd have to take a lot of time and effort it's just this particular client doesn't want that they just want a pretty good looking picture with him and Lisa Ray so I'm backing the opacity off to give a little bit, take a little bit away. Selecting this blue. I don't like that. Let's go back with that. All right. Now we're going to go around his head a little bit more to take off some of this this red that's bleeding from the other picture all I'm doing is I'm on the mask now this red is really annoying me so I'm gonna go ahead and go in here and do an adjustment on it Hopefully by the end of this, it'll all look good. It'll all come together good enough just to, so I can show you guys how to do it. And plus, you get some little help, helpful hints on exactly what I'm doing with this. So let's take some of this red out. Looks a lot better right there. Okay. I can still see some of the other guy there. So I'm going to come over here background layer choose the clone brush that there it is knocking out the other guy that's what it's all about though knocking out the other guy like I said with this is going to be a Facebook picture it's not going to be blown up this big ever so remember it doesn't have to be perfect just good enough to lower the suck factor a little bit. All right, push B for brush, and I'm gonna come in here and take off a little bit of this. Come over here, take off a little bit of that. And the reason this is working, because you might not know, oops, X, because I'm on the layer with the mask on it. And I'm just putting the mask on in certain places and taking it off in other places. Making sure the head is nice and round. 
a little mask bleed over here so we're gonna go ahead and make sure we can see the collar of this guy's neck nah, I'm messing it up now so I actually like it the way it is right there back up and take a look at it and see what we got it's not too bad not too bad at all it could be a little nah I like it a lot so with that said hopefully you guys enjoyed just a little quick tutorial on I don't know what the god is basically taking the head off of one person and replacing it with another person again this is Chris Porter with Usaka Photography really appreciate you coming to visit my page and check out my stuff and make sure you opt in and you can get an update every time I put something like this. Plus, I'm always having free stuff up, so check me out. Later.